Some of you might have experienced that when you open the Helium app to check the status of your Helium hotspot, it says needs attention. And when you click on that, the app says your hotspot is offline and not syncing. In this video, we'll discuss what this means and how to fix this needs attention problem. We'll also consider the case when you do not have physical access to your Helium hotspot. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, Eigentech. In short, needs attention implies that the Helium API is reporting that your Helium hotspot is not connected to the internet. So let's see when does this happen. There could be a few reasons. The first one could be that your miner was turned off. Let's say you wanted to change the antenna or wanted to switch the position or something. So it was turned off for a few minutes to few hours and then this could happen. The second reason could be that you have really issues with your internet connectivity. Then there could be OTA updates which often come to your Helium hotspots whenever some updates is issued by the uh, Helium developers. And the fourth reason could be uh, you are syncing for the first time. So you have just registered your hotspot to the blockchain and you are still syncing it and it's not fully synced to the blockchain. These are four common reasons when this needs attention appear on your Helium app. So how to solve this problem? If you have physical access to your Helium miner, the first thing would be to run the diagnostics. If you don't know how to run it, I have already covered it in a different video. You will find the link in the description as well as at the top right corner. So after running the diagnostics, you might find different results. So let's say in this case, you find that both your outbound and inbound connections are checked. So this is great. This means that you are properly connected to the internet and you don't need to worry about anything. Even though the Helium API or Helium Explorer is reporting you to be offline. It's just because the API or the Explorer are delayed and uh, those need some time to update the actual status. Next, if you are syncing, uh, it will say that uh, this in this activity blockchain sync, it will not be 100%, it will be some other percentage and your status will be actually syncing and that is also good. The next case is that if you find that your outbound is checked but the inbound is crossed. So this could mean that if you are behind a relay and in that case other Helium hotspots are having difficulty to reach your hotspot and that's why the inbound is not uh, checked. Uh, Sometimes it can happen due to intermittent internet connectivity as well. So you can rerun the diagnostics again and make sure that you are really not getting inbound. Uh, sometimes it goes away if you run the diagnostics a few times. Uh, in that case, you should try to fix the relay. I have also covered that topic in a different video. You can check that out. Now, if your result says that both your outbound and inbound are cross marked, that means your Helium hotspot is really having trouble connecting to the internet. So you do not have proper internet connection. You can also verify this by rerunning the diagnostics again. And uh, if you are still getting this, that really means that you have problem with your internet connection and you have to fix that. So if you are using Wi-Fi, it's better to use then an Ethernet cable to make sure you have good internet connectivity. Uh, but if you still need to use Wi-Fi, it's better to use the 2.4 GHz band because it has uh, more range. And you can make sure that you have good internet connection by using your mobile phone at the location of the hotspot and checking the uh, speed of your internet. For that you can just go to your browser and type internet speed test and then just run this speed test and it will show you what is your internet speed and if it should have a good internet speed at that point. Next let us discuss what to do when you do not have physical access to your Helium hotspot. How to debug in that case. I am going to show you two methods for this and these will work in general whenever you have access to internet. So to make the demonstration, I have pulled up three examples. So you can see this one is offline and also these two other hotspots, which are all offline as shown by the Helium Explorer. So to check the status more accurately, we will go to, we will use the Hotspotty app. For that, go to uh, your browser and type app.hotspotty.net and then you can copy the name of the hotspot or just simply type it. So go here on the search button and type the name of your hotspot. So once it loads, it will show you the hotspot name here. 
here so click on that then we'll go to the info tab and scroll down here so you can see that uh, this hotspot is actually online saying it's yes it's not relayed and the syncing status is no uh, it has been syncing 10, since 10 hours ago and it is currently 562 blocks behind so you can see that the hotspot is giving you more accurate result even though the explorer is saying it it is offline uh, the next example is uh, this one which I have already pulled up here you can see it here uh, it says that it's not online it's relayed and of course it's not online so that's why it's not synced and the third example here this is actually a fresh um, hotspot it has not performed any uh, POC activity because uh, you can see in the activity tab there are nothing and in the all activity tab you can see that it was added to the blockchain and only asserted location so again I pulled it up you can see this one is uh, this hotspot which is not online uh, not relayed and the syncing status is not synced so hotspotty has a bunch of other features as well if you like to join hotspotty you can use the link given in the description now i'll talk about the second method which is using the uh, helium hiker application so that is actually uh, in the discord channel which is called helium hiker uh, this one uh, you will find the link of discord in the description you can join as well it's free so to use a helium hiker you need to know the name of your hotspot so i'll copy this name again and go to the helium hikers uh, this bot command channel and then type exclamation mark peer ping and paste the name of your hotspot but then you need to add dash in between the three words and hit enter so it will try to contact or connect to that hotspot and give you a result so you can see that it's saying that it pinged successfully with a round trip time of 66 milliseconds so if this happens you know for sure that the helium hotspot is online even though the api or explorer is saying it's offline next let's check the second example here So you can see in the second example uh, it's trying to ping it but there is a timeout actually most likely it will not be able to ping it and it will return an error some form of error message so you can see that it says timeout realization so it could not reach it within some given time uh, so the point is here that even if it says that it's not able to connect it it doesn't mean that it's offline okay it could still mean that it's online but because of uh, some relayed issue or because the network is now so large uh, this hiker bot has difficulty to reach your helium hotspot so to wrap this video up let me repeat a few points if your helium hotspot needs attention the first thing to do is to run the diagnostics if you get both the inbound and outbound green checked you are good to go the helium explorer and the api is simply laggy and it will take a few hours to update the actual status of your helium hotspot if you get only the outbound checked that is also fine most likely the inbound is not checked because you are behind a relay if you get both of them uh, not checked then it's bad your internet connection is really poor or somehow the hotspot is not able to connect to the internet you should then fix that problem if you do not have physical access to your, to your helium hotspot in that case you can use the hotspotty app or the helium hiker bot as i showed you in this video if you are using the helium hiker bot and you could ping your helium hotspot successfully that is a real time result and that makes sure that your helium hotspot is truly online and you don't need to worry about the uh, explorer or the api however if the helium hiker bot fails to connect to your hotspot that doesn't mean that your hotspot is offline it could mean that it's behind some relay or there is some connectivity problem that's why it could not reach your helium hotspot and you should just give it some more time so in the end you have to just make sure that your helium hotspot has good internet connection and simply wait
and after a few hours your hotspot will become online or on the api and explorer and the needs attention tag will go away i hope this information was useful to you if you have any more question let me know in the comment section that's all for today thanks for watching guys and get kryptonized